All right, we've got to talk about Hicksville because uh, there are several big, big fires in Hicksville. I'm going to show you where this was. This looks like a scene straight out of a ghetto. Uh, look at the graffiti. Look at this was shared uh, with to me by Matt Camper, uh, who uh, who uh, sent me this. So this is uh, this is, looks like a scene straight out of a ghetto. You have graffiti and a fire in Hicksville. Uh, so uh, let's play this video if we can play it. And you'll see, look at this. Isn't that a scene straight out of a ghetto or what? So it looks like it's right over there. That's a really big fire, too. Look at all the graffiti. So Hicksville is in a meltdown. Or should I say Skidsville? It is in a complete meltdown, this area. It is in a meltdown. Um, this wasn't the only fire in, in the Hicksville area today. And this was the other fire that happened in Francesca's. All right, so there were two major fires. This was last night. This was a little more toward uh, 107. I'm going to show you these buildings that were involved. So this is, the, this is the one off West John that happened earlier, late this morning. Huge fire. And then this one, too. What is going on in Hicksville? What is going on? The neighborhood is in a complete free fall right now. It is falling so fast. It is scary. So um, the fire that happened that was close to the train station was over here. So here's the Hicksville or should I say Skidsville train station, and this was the fire that was off West John. Uh, it was uh, right over here. Uh, it was uh, this place called Exclusive Events. So if we go and we look at the street view, you'll see the area it was located in. Um, so this is this is where it was right here. Uh, and now there'll be another vacant, burned-out business. Looks like that part of it was for rent. Uh, this neighborhood just looks like utter crap. All right, uh, it really looks horrible. I mean. Uh, look at the garbage strewn everywhere. Uh, 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 this area is in a complete free fall. It's in a free fall. This house looks abandoned. Looks like one of the windows is boarded up. Uh, this is what's going on. This is not a good. This is not a good sign. This is not a good sign in Hicksville. So that's where the first lo uh, incident. Well, actually, that was the second incident. The first one happened last night, a little further south, uh, down here. Um, where uh, Francesca's is, which is right over here. So, uh, happened right over here. Um, so, you can see it uh, happened right in this uh, shopping center right here. So, this is a legendary bakery. Luckily, they have another location in North Massapequa, which is probably where they're going to run most of their operations at it right now. Because, again, everybody's going to the South Shore because the middle is just going down. Hicksville is going down. It's in a complete. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, look at this piece of property that's right behind it. And this is just from the street view. Um, yeah, this this doesn't look kept up at all. This could be abandoned. This was from 2018. So Hicksville is in some serious, serious trouble. Um, and the, of course, News 12 didn't talk about that, and they really didn't spend enough time on both of these stories. Well, actually, they didn't even cover the one on West John. They only covered the one on, at Francesca's. Uh, but uh, a terrible loss because it was a very popular business, and they do vow to rebuild. But I bet they will be rebuilding somewhere else. I think they should because the neighborhood, this neighborhood is gone. It's gone. All right? It's just, it's in a free fall. It really is. It's in a free fall. Everybody, everybody is getting out very fast. It's happening extremely fast, which is why I use the word free fall. Because that's what's going on. And there's that house for rent that's still for rent in Hicksville. Uh, literally in a place where Long Island says there's a shortage. You can't, this, this property is, is not being kept up. A lot of properties in Hicksville are not being kept up at all. They're full of trash, overgrown lawns. Uh, everybody's leaving. Everybody's just getting out. Everybody's just getting out of Dodge. They're parking school buses. E EBT is parking school buses at the Broadway Mall by Boulder Creek. And... There's no place coming soon there to that place on West John. It's 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 been like that for a while. Nothing's coming, you know. Uh, the, you know the homeless they've taken over. Uh, the vagrancy's taken over. We're gonna get to that a little later. So you may wonder who's behind this. Who is responsible for this this problem in Hicksville? Hicksville is by far, I think, of all the towns on Long Island, experiencing the biggest decline at the highest rate. So who's behind this? Who's behind this? Well, it's in the town of Oyster Bay. It's in the town of Oyster Bay, and who is the town supervisor? It's Joseph 
Saladino. This guy, he's your typical stockbroker kind of guy. Here he is. Um, here's his picture. Um, he's a stockbroker kind of guy, and guess where he's from? I'm going to read to you where he's from. All right. He is a lifelong resident of Massapequa. He graduated from Massapequa High School in 1979. So here you go. He represents Massapequa. Those are the kind of people that you have running the town of Oyster Bay. And they only care about the South Shore. They only care about the South Shore. They don't care about Hicksville. To them, it's a dumping ground. All right? When you take a look at all the illegal massa massage parlors in Hicksville, they don't do anything to shut them down. But when one pops up in Massapequa, they shut it down right away, don't they? And somewhere there was a list of illegal massage parlors, um, or, or you know, shady places that they don't they that uh, was posted somewhere. I can't find it, but it literally Hicksville had like twelve or thirteen, and the rest of the town only had like one or two. So uh, this is what's going on. They're dumping all the problems. This whole area here is being redlined. It's being redlined. All you have to do is look along these roads to find these places. They are everywhere. Uh, and it's just very rundown looking. You have all these places right here that just look extremely rundown. And there are actually a number, number of these. Um, this is uh, from October 2018. This is Woodbury Road in Hicksville. There's an illegal uh, massage parlor in this one right here. Some, somebody took a video of it. Uh, there's not even a sign for it. Now it's for rent. No, this was for rent, but now it's in a This is what goes on in Hicksville, folks. This is what's going on. They are redlining the area. They are ruining it. They are dumping all the illegals there. They're dumping all the ex-cons. They're dumping all the bums. The, the, all the problems are being dumped in Hicksville. And again, when I refer to the word... Let me, let me talk about that for a minute. Let me make one thing clear, as you can see here in this video. These people are intoxicated. They're causing problems in the community. All right, that's why I'm calling them bums. That's why I'm calling them vagrants. All right, because they're causing problems. And this is what's going on in Hicksville. This was from December, where there was a fight. These two people are regularly at the Hicksville train station. Nothing is done. I see them almost every day in and around the Hicksville train station. They, the police don't do anything about it. They don't do anything. All right? These people, who knows if they're even homeless. Maybe they live somewhere, but they just choose to hang out and they drink there. And they cause problems. And nothing's done because it's a dumping ground, Hicksville. It's a dumping ground for these kinds of problems. It's not fair what's going on in Hicksville. But in Belmore, if you do see people in the train station, they're usually sleeping and they keep to themselves. These are homeless people, most likely. But they're not causing any problems, at least. I'm not saying they should be there, but what I am saying is they're not causing any problems. They're keeping to themselves. They're not drunk. They're not bothering people. All right, there's a big difference between the kind of homeless you'll see on the South Shore and the bums you see on the main line. There's a huge difference. And again, this was at Mineola the other day. All right, this is, this is what's being dumped in the middle of the island. You're not going to see that on the South Shore. You'll see homeless, but you're not going to see them keep to themselves. It's not like here where they're drunk. And they continue to hang out at Hicksville. They continue to hang out. This was just yet, yet the other day. They are inside the waiting room. Even though it was locked. It was actually locked. But somehow they were in there because the red light was on. I don't know how they were in there. But nobody does anything. It's a dumping ground. Nobody cares about it. All one has to do is look at the Long Island Railroad parking lots. The Town of Oyster Bay Long Island Railroad parking lots. And we know what happened in Hicksville with the Town of Oyster Bay's parking garage over here which had to be uh, fixed several times because of problems. Uh, the one right over here, with all the cracks in it. All right, but then you have this lot here, which looks absolutely horrible. All right, this lot here, which we walk through all the time, just looks absolutely awful. So let's take a look at this. Actually, this is an old one. But uh, this is when they were doing the construction. But you could see missing lights. Uh, this, this actually is part of the town of Oyster Bay. And... There's actually missing lights in here. Some of these lights have fallen down. Uh, they haven't... Uh, I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looks like. So 
the parking lot is not well taken care of. All right, it's not a very well taken care of parking lot. You could see uh, just by looking at the lines there, they're all they all look horrible. All right, this lot looks absolutely terrible. All right, and it's not well taken care of. And again, this was while they were working on H Hicksville Station, um, but you could see it just there's not enough lights. Uh, and uh, the, the, it's, it just looks terrible, and the, the vagrants are actually in the street view. I think I showed this to you once before. There was actually a vagrant in the street view. Let's see if we can find it. Yep, there he is. Yep, there he is with his shirt off. So there you go. One. There's another town lot on the south side of the tracks. So let's look at this one. Let's see how this uh, lot looks here in Massapequa. Right, this is nice, well taken care of. Oh yeah, look at that, much nicer than Hicksville. Much nicer than Hicksville. There's no potholes, the lines are painted well, everything's kept up. There's your Massapequa train station, which looks a lot nicer than Hicksville, even after it's done. Because, again, this area gets the best because of the connections with Wall Street. So yeah, this is the town of Oyster Bay lot here at Hicksville. I meant, this is the town of Oyster Bay lot here in Massapequa. And you can see just the difference between here and Hicksville. It's like night and day. It's like night and day. It's taken care of. It's it's lit properly. There's, it's not, there's no bums hanging around. You know, because it's Mass Peak when it's well taken care of. So, of course, it's going to be taken care of. You know? It's going to be taken care of. But, again, you're in Mass Pequa. There's the car that they all love to drive, the Infinity. See that there? That's the Infinity dealership right there. So again, that's what you get here in Massapequa. Only the best for this demographic. Meanwhile, middle of the island in Hicksville looks like a war zone. So that's going to be it for this video. You know, it's just, it, it's out of control in Hicksville. And it's really unfortunate this neighborhood is being redlined. Uh, the town is involved. There's so much corruption going on. I, I'm sorry I couldn't show you that picture of the broken light pole. Uh, there was wiring sticking out, but my computer lost it. I spent one hour looking at my computer. I couldn't find it, and I wanted to get this video up for you. So uh, that's going to wrap up this video about Hicksville. It's a really bad situation there, and people need to fight. People, the corruption in the town of Oyster Bay it needs to be exposed. Uh, there's a lot of favoritism. You know, they're in beds with Wall Street, the banks, uh, you know, these finance professionals to ruin Hicksville, to redline it dump all the problems there and uh, while well, they get to live in their own enclaves in Massapequa. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching.